Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next example to implement Hamiltonian circuit using backtracking technique. What is Hamiltonian circuit? Hamiltonian circuit is nothing but start from one starting vertex that will be considered as the initial vertex. From that vertex, visit all other vertices in the given graph exactly only once and return back to the starting vertex. That is nothing but Hamiltonian circuit. So, to find the solution for the Hamiltonian circuit, we need to construct the state space tree. So, the state space tree will start with the initial solution. So, here initial value is or initial vertex is nothing but A. So, A will be considered as the initial vertex. And from that vertex, if you are considering, there are three vertices connected. Okay. I, B and F. P, F and I is connected. Okay. Now, through B, consider the path. So, from B, if you are considering, what is the vertices directly connected? E and C. So, C and E is connected. And from C, if you are considering, unvisited vertex, B and D is connected. B is already visited. So, next unvisited vertex is nothing but D. And from D, unvisited vertices are E and I. E and I. And from E, the unvisited vertices are F and H. And from F, the unvisited vertices are A is already visited, unvisited is G. And from G, the vertices connected are F and H, F is already visited, H is unvisited. And from H, unvisited vertices E and I, in this path E is already visited, I is unvisited. And visit I. And if you are checking this path in the sense A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, all the vertices in this given graph, we have visited exactly only once. And from I, it is possible to return back to A. So, this is one solution. Okay. From I, we can able to return back to A. So, this is one solution. Backtrack to the previous levels and check whether one more solution is possible. So, backtrack here. And check for this possibility. And from H, if you are considering, unvisited vertices are G and I. So, G is unvisited and I is unvisited. And from G, if you are considering in the sense, in this path, F is unvisited. And from F, the unvisited vertices E and A, but E is already visited, A is already visited. But in this path, I is not visited yet. But from F, we cannot able to reach to I. So, this will be considered as a dead day. Okay. Next, H to I if you are considering in the sense. From I, D and H. D is already visited. H, H is also already visited. A is also already visited. So, this is also a dead day end. So, backtrack to the previous step and consider the possibility through I. And from I if you are considering the unvisited vertex. D is already visited. So, unvisited is H. And from H, unvisited is E and G. E and from E, the unvisited vertex here is B is already visited in this path. So, unvisited is F. And from F, the unvisited vertex is G here. And from G, F and H, it is already visited. And here, the unvisited vertex, all the vertices, we have visited exactly only once. But from G, you have to return back to A, starting vertex. But that is not possible here. So, this is a dead end. Next up. Consider through this vertex. H to G. H to G. And from G, the unvisited is F. And from F, E is unvisited. But from E, you cannot able to return back to A. All the vertices in this path, we have visited exactly only once. But from E, you cannot able to return back to A. So, this is a dead end. So, backtrack to the previous step and consider the possibility through E. So, from E, the unvisited vertices, the vertices connected are B, D, H and F. B is already visited. So, from E, D, H and F is unvisited. D, H and F is unvisited. Then, if you are checking the path through D, you can visit unvisited vertices C and I. C and I. But C, if you are considering in the sense, the adjacent vertices are B and D, but B and D already visited. You cannot able to reach any unvisited vertex after C. So, this is a dead end. Okay. And I, if you are considering in the sense, the vertices connected are D and H. D is already visited. 
so h is unvisited and from h e and g is connected e is already visited so visit g and from g you can visit f and from f from this path if you are considering c is not visited yet but from f you cannot able to reach to c okay so this will be a dead end and backtrack all these level here and check through h a b e h and from h the unvisited vertices are g and i g and i okay and from g the unvisited vertices are what is this connected or h and f but h is already visited f is unvisited and from f you can visit a and e but a and e already we have visited still unvisited vertices are there c and d is unvisited here c d i are unvisited but you cannot able to reach so this is a detained and h to i if you are considering in this sense you can visit d and c here okay but you cannot able to visit g and f so from i you can visit d and c but then it will be a dead end you cannot able to reach these two vertices here okay next e to f we are considering in the sense from f unvisited vertex is g and from g unvisited vertex is h and from h e is already visited so unvisited is i and from i unvisited is t and from d unvisited is c and here if you are checking all the vertices we have visited exactly only once but from c you cannot able to return back to a so this is also a dead end okay now if you are considering the path through the vertex b in the sense only one solution is possible this is the solution and this is the path okay similarly if you are considering the path through f one more solution is possible and if you are considering the path through i two more solutions is possible through the vertex f and i construct the state space tree by yourself for your practice okay now i will provide the solution so the solution if you are considering in the sense first solution through b if you are considering in the sense solution is a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f f to g g to h h to i and i to a this is one solution and second solution if you are considering the path through f in the sense a to f f to g g to h h to e e to b b to c c to d d to i i to a and if you are considering the path through i in the sense that is this path if you are considering in the sense a to i i to d d to c c to b b to e e to h h to g g to f and f to a and if you are considering another solution through this path in the sense a to i instead of going to through this route check with h a to i i to h h to g g to f f to e e to d d to c c to b and d to e so these are all the four possible hamiltonian circuits possible for this given graph by constructing the state space the path through f and i construct by yourself for your practice the procedure is same only okay thank you for watching this video